Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about my shirts <laughs> and separating the art from the artist. And we're going to talk about Hunter S. Thompson and Rick and Morty and Harry Potter. And we're going to do all of this primarily for the Republicans who watch this channel. Um, especially those who, who are concerned about cancel culture. And hopefully by the end of it, you'll understand how it works and why it's not what you think it is. So, there is a show. There's a TV show called Rick and Morty. I have worn shirts from this show on this channel a lot. It's a sci-fi show, and I wear them when I'm talking about science, particularly if it's something very, very futuristic or, you know, really out there, because it fits. Recently, one of the key players in the show, well, some allegations surfaced, and they're wild. And there's, beyond what's being reported in the news, there's a whole flood of other rumor and innuendo and all kinds of other stuff. What's true and what's not, I don't really know. Okay. Um, but the allegations are there. And I made a comment saying that, well, I will be taking those shirts out of, you know, the lineup. You're not going to see me wearing those anymore. And somebody said something to the effect of, what about separating the art from the artist, which is something I, I totally agree with. You should do that um, in most cases. In most cases, you should do that. If you went through and removed every movie, TV show, song, book that was written by somebody that had something problematic, um, you wouldn't have a whole lot left. You have to separate the art from the artist. Um, however, there are some times that just because you make that distinction, it doesn't mean that the art is still a good fit. I wear Hunter S. Thompson shirts a lot as well. Uh, he was a journalist, if you don't know. Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas is where most people would uh, recognize it. Um, it... Uh, it wouldn't be a good fit if this channel routinely raised money for AA or NA, right? It, that would be a really weird pairing. It, it wouldn't make sense. It, it would be very counterintuitive, and it would seem really off. This channel raises money routinely for domestic violence shelters. Rick and Morty... It, it has to go. It, it's that simple. Based on that. Um, recently, I saw this shirt. And it was perfect. Because I had been getting all of those questions. About, we have to stop talking about Trump. And all of that stuff. And it, it was a shirt. That said, you know, talking about he who shall not be named. From the Harry Potter series. Would have been perfect because I knew I was going to be making those videos. But there's no way I can wear a Harry Potter shirt on this channel. Uh, separating the art from the artist in that case becomes really hard, because the artist used the platform that the art gave her to attack people that, well this channel is very supportive of. So, can't be here. It's not a good fit. Even if you, even if you do separate the art from the artist, in fact, one of the people, in fact, the only person I know from that demographic that, that gets attacked by her, that has commented on this, that I've seen, 
was like super forgiving about it and was like, well, you know, if you still enjoy them, you know, maybe still watch them, enjoy that, have that fun. Maybe just don't promote it, you know, very lukewarm, m much better person than I am about the whole thing. Um, but it, it still, it just doesn't sit well. And it goes back to what we were talking about when we were talking about brand safe content on Twitter. When you're talking about cancel culture, we can finally stop talking about my shirts now that you see a, a little example of how it works and how these decisions get made. When you're talking about these major multi-billion dollar corporations, what kind of uh, safeguards do you think they have in place to protect their assets from being associated with something that might upset one of their key demographics. They're, they're pretty substantial. That's where cancel culture is coming from. That's how, that's how it is actually impacting Republicans and conservatives. They're not being canceled because they're Republican or because they're conservative. They're being canceled because of the imagery and rhetoric they use and how it others and marginalizes and attacks demographics that the major companies view as their own. Because of that, even if somebody on the board agrees with whatever is being said, well, they're not a good fit. That's how cancel culture works. It isn't some plot to go after conservatives. It's the rhetoric and imagery that they use being reprehensible to large segments of the American society, so large that major companies who try to cater to as many people as possible can't associate with those figures. That's, that's how it works. Cancel culture is uh, literally capitalism in action. It is removing things that might upset demographics that might use that product. The shirts, it's kind of the same thing. I mean, not really, but the same mechanism is there. These things aren't a good fit on the channel because of their association, because of how they would make the channel look. It's the same thing. Just because you separate the art from the artist, that doesn't mean that the art is still going to be welcomed everywhere. Just because you separate the, the rhetoric from the person, that doesn't mean that person's going to be welcomed everywhere. It's not about being a conservative. It's about the ideas that are so regressive that they're causing active harm to the communities that these companies are catering to. And this is why, well, while Go Woke, Go Broke sounded cute, the reality is, and people are learning it, Go Fash, no cash. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.